Hi, Cap. All right, so for my Capricorns, this will be the good things coming towards you in the month of April 2024. Um, we're going to start off with your lifestyle, then we're going to get into your money, and then we're going to talk about love at the very end, all right? So let's jump right in. I hope that you guys are doing great. Let's see, what's the positive changes or positive things coming towards you in the month of April in regards of your life? Your lifestyle, how you choose to live your life every day, how you go about your business every day, what's changing, what's new in a positive sense when it comes to your lifestyle? Let's see. All right, so we have the Six of Swords. Hmm, okay, interesting. What else do we have here? You have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Very interesting, okay? Bottom of the deck is the Sun card. So overall, very positive energy coming towards you. In the month of April, you're going to feel very uplifted, very high vibrational, um, high energy, feeling very happy. So if you've been struggling to feel positive, happy on a high vibration, I feel like in April, everything will work itself out. Just be patient and let the process do its thing. But you will be a very happy Capricorn in April. By the end of April, when you look back, when you're in the month of May, you'll be like, wow, I was so happy. Okay, so really good because there's a lot of people who are not feeling this way right now. So, you know, you're doing big, big things. Okay, when it comes to that regard, I also feel like the sun card talks about baby energy. So those of you who are trying for a baby this could be your month that, you know, you get impregnated is the word. Or this could be an energy of you. Like if you have a parent, you are your parent's baby. So being babied by an authoritan, authoritative figure. So this could be like a parental figure, someone who acts like they're your parent. Maybe it's your grandma, granddad. Okay, maybe it's a caregiver. Maybe it's a sibling babying you, trying to baby you. Also, with that authoritative energy, it could be a boss that just has a deep personal liking to you outside of work, it could be babying you. There's like baby energy, like stop babying me. Hello, I'm grown. I'm grown. But someone's going to want to baby you because you are their baby. Okay? It's giving daddy. <clears throat> Am I your baby? That's what it's giving. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so let's talk about these cards, guys, Capricorns. All right, Six of Swords, okay? So it tells me that you've been having a tough moment, you know, previous to right now. So could have been in March or maybe in February. You are actively trying to change the narrative in your life. You're trying to have much, of, much more of a positive space around you. Um, you could be trying to detach from bad influences or bad connections. Um, you were coming out of like a dark night of the soul. So just a very tough moment in your life. You are moving forward. And the good thing in April is that you will reach your destination of, again, that sun energy, being happy, being on higher spirits or higher vibrations, feeling like you have positivity in your life, the innocence coming back in your life you know, letting your inner child run free, you will have that moment in April. So you're finally kind of reaching a destination out, outside of a tough journey. Okay. Six of Swords is also that journey where it's hard to pick up new things. So you could have had some troubles like in new friendships or even trying to keep friendship friendships, you know, or a in your love life, like dating new people could have been really hard to like be consistent with those people. If you had like a new job role or new job position or new job offer could have been really a very tough transition for you during that time that you were going through this. Okay. But you still made it work, but it was very, very tough. And you could have also been feeling very misunderstood because no one really knew your business that you were moving on from such a tough time. Right. All right, so what's the Six of Swords? Tell me about the Six of Swords for my Cappies. All 
All right, Six of Swords for Capricorn. Positive, good things coming towards them in the month of April. All right, Temperance. So just feeling overall very balanced in your energy, balancing your mental, you know, balanced in your emotions, okay? Feeling balanced in, in like feeling um, peaceful or in harmony with your decisions, with your surroundings, with people who interact with you, feeling like there's no drama, there's no stress, all right, if you've been stressed out quite a bit, I feel like that stress is going to subside and you're going to feel normal again. That's all temperance is about. It's a great balance in your life where you feel like your head is above water, not, not drowning, you know? Okay, so you really might need that and that is coming towards you in the month of April. We also have the Five of Cups. There are some things that you were really stuck in the past with. So that really hurt you. That kind of like pushed you out of the Six of Swords. So for example, maybe, you know, a friend or a lover really hurt you, devastated you in a way majorly where you just could not move on. Even if you did move on and actively put yourself out there, meet new friends, date new people, you could have really held on to the pain that this person, you know, put on you and you, you just couldn't stop thinking about it or being stuck in the past. You couldn't help yourself. Right. And so there's some type of disappointment or heartbreak that came from the past that you just couldn't get over. Some of you guys, this could be like grief. Like if you lost someone, you know, may them may they rest in peace. My condolences. It's it's the same energy as grief. So whether you dealt with grief and like I said, rest in peace to your loved one that was so special to you that it took a long time for you to kind of like move forward. Or if you took on a situation that hurt you kind of in the same way, like as if someone passed and in all honesty, it's like sometimes that five of cups is like not grief for this person that you loved or cared about so much. Sometimes it's grief for your old self, like your innocent self, because when you're hurt in a major way, you change. You become more tougher. You become more attitude -y, You become more detached. And so your old self was very innocent and open and giving. And sometimes that is really what your, your higher self is mourning. And sometimes it's disguised by, I'm just mourning my ex. Or I'm mourning this person who broke my heart. Or I'm mourning my ex-friend who I broke up with. Sometimes it's disguised as that, but it's really your past self, your inner child. And I think that's so beautiful that in April, you will be able to rediscover your inner child with that sun energy, okay? So you'll be over it. You'll be over it. It'll be a thing of the past. It won't be such a, of a burden on you. You won't feel emotionally tied to this. You're ready to kind of like turn the page, um, turn a new leaf, start your next chapter in life, okay? Also, the devil is here too. So I think you really could have struggled with like indulgences, like any kind of bad indulgence. This could be eating too much, like emotionally eating. This could be like, you know, procrastination. This could be like smoking, drinking. This could be maybe just, you know, hanging around the wrong types of people. Maybe people who are also in a hurt energy, y'all kind of you know, secluded yourselves together versus seeking out people of more positive energy. So whatever it is, that is a thing of the past. You're not doing this anymore, okay? You're putting it down, okay? And this is supported by the Will of Fortune. So this talks about just um, a big change in your life and also a lot of luck coming in all at once. Now, I do feel like this could be a little overwhelming because you're just now you could still be emotional up until like the first day of April, okay? So it's like, oh my God, all these positive things are coming in, but give me some time to readjust. I feel like you're not gonna have time to readjust with this Wheel of Fortune, it's turning fast. It's almost like when you're um, manning a boat, you know, and think of like a big boat. So think of like a cruise ship. And when that wheel is turning, you know, it moves really fast. So you, it's hard to like take control. It's like slipping through your... It's hard, okay? So it's like you're being redirected in the right direction, but you won't have time to slow down or redirect or or give up or pull out last minute. You're just being sucked into this blessings and positivity, but it could be a little overwhelming. Anyway, what's the will of fortune? 
Hi, the coldest panda. All right, let's see. Um, we have the justice. So this is what's owed to you. And it's like karmically positive energy coming towards you. So whatever you've been done wrong in, whatever you feel like, you know, it's been hard for you to deal with because you've been waiting possibly for things to be amended and it never came. Those judgments never came, right? Those second chances or those apologies never came or you never got anything to suffice for the pain that you endured. It's all coming in all at once, but I'm really feeling like you're having a hard time adjusting. Like it's not normal for you, all of these good things happening so, so fast or so sudden. I feel like it's overwhelming for you. So just kind of like, you know, I don't know what, what advice to give you. I would just say like, you know, try to Take a deep breath and realize maybe these are some of the things that you prayed for or manifested that are coming in. So just go with the flow, you know? It's not really even a time for gratitude because I don't feel like you have time to even stop and be have gratitude. You don't even have a time for understanding. Just go with the flow and allow the universe to lead you where you need to be. All right? The Knight of Swords is here too. There are some last minute um, apologies coming towards you and last minute because you are literally on the cusp of I cared and then you're moving to this side, which is I don't even give a you know what anymore. So it's like people are just now sliding in their letters to you right when you're about to move on from I care so much to I don't care. Just when you're about to detach, people are sliding into your DMs or sending you those text messages or calling you up or telling people to hit you up for them. It's coming in when you're just about to change, okay? And the King of Swords or the Queen of Swords, you kind of feel very um, detached. So, you know, I think they kind of hit you a little bit too late, you know? It's kind of like if you said, like, my deadline is like um, 12 a.m., but someone tried to come towards you in the wrong time zone. It's like, well, my time zone, babe, is 1201. So <laughs> we're going to have to reschedule this for next lifetime. That's what it's giving. Okay. So sorry, we're on different time zones or something like that. Also, another positive thing or great thing coming towards you in the month of April is the um, three of pentacles, three of pentacles could be creativity. So your creativity could be bringing you a lot of solace or just harmony. Like, you know, sometimes when you write, maybe if you're an author, like you're a undercover author, cause a lot of this energy is undercover. So you could be like really good at writing stories, or you could be really good at like, you know, painting or maybe photography, like creative things. Maybe you're really good at, um, cooking, music, okay? Think of like art or creativity energies or outlets. There's something here that's helping you stay in a good space because there's going to be a lot of overwhelming energy. So your energy of um, decluttering or de-stressing could come through a creative outlet. Also, you could be finding your group, your group meaning like your partners in life. Partners could be a lover, could be friends or family. It's the energy of people who have your back like you have theirs and they do their part and you don't have to always like, you know, micromanage them or see what they're doing. You'll just know that this person has your back or these people have your back. So this could be a friendship group. This could be family. This could be love. This could be all three. You could be meeting your people in April that kind of just hold it down for Capricorn. Clarify the three of pentacles. All right, we have the nine of wands. So it's been a long time coming because nine of wands is the energy of things get really bad before they get really great. So you've had people who've let you down. You've had a lot of disappointments back to back to back. It's like, should I even give other people a chance? I don't think it's even about giving people a chance. I feel like these people will squeeze their way in through a creative aspect. So whether you guys are very passionate about work or you're very passionate about music or passionate about art or passionate about writing, there's some way that you and this person, you and this person or these people just align. So it's not really ha has a lot to do with convincing. I feel like it's convinced you're convinced through this person's work ethic with the three of pentacles or their reliability, dependability, or their creative aspect. Okay. 
because you've had enough by the time that you're finding your group, you've had enough. You're like, I don't have time. You know, you used to be able to like sit down with people, ask them about their day, their hobbies, their interests, what, you know, what's going on, what's going on with your dating life. Okay. What's your goals? You're, you don't even care about that no more. You've been through so much. You're like, I don't, I don't even have the capacity to even care, act like I care to get to know you. Either we click or we don't. And these people will click with you right off the bat. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Yep. King of cups will be your people. King of cups energy for a group or for people. Your people is the energy of people who are very um, compassionate. They're sensitive to people's feelings and their needs. So they're not like, you know, ASSS holes. Okay. Um, they could be very caring, very nurturing, very supportive in your downtimes. These people are very generous with their time, their affection, and also their money. So they're givers. All right. And they're really good with children. So if you're a Capricorn, who's a mom or a dad, and you're wondering about making friends or even dating someone and, and wondering, will they click with your children? This person actually has that great energy. And they're also masculine energy, even if they're a feminine. So they know how to rally the children and the children listen to them. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of a thing that's known like, and I think, okay, it's kind of a thing like if you're a parent, there's the mother figure, which is like so sweet and the caretaker. And then there's the father figure who's provider and just very serious. Back in the day, it would be a thing, the masculine energy would be able to wrangle up the children. And that's why you see in today's society, a lot of feminine mothers get very rough or very like, um, what's the word I want to use? Very assertive with what they say. It's not like sweet and cute. It's like, you know, get your butt over here. Or it's like, come eat. You know, it's like assertive masculine energy. So I feel like whoever this person is, I don't, even if they're feminine, they have assertive energy, but they still come from a very genuine place that they can wrangle your crazy kids together if you have children. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's funny. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to move on to your money now. All right, let's talk about your money. Let's see how, you know, what the universe is going to bring in a positive direction towards your money, your finances, or even career. Hi, Zach. Thank you for being here. All right, let's see. All right, we have the world. Ooh, so there's a big upgrade in your lifestyle coming, Capricorn, but you already knew that. When it comes to your money, you you know your money. You don't need nobody to read you about your money. Okay, we have the devil here, okay? So watch out for spending, but this is a positive energy. So it's almost like you can indulge in the bad habits of money. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a second cuz that's going to really take y'all for a loop. Cuz this is the positive things the devil came out which means it's a positive. So indulging. And what else do we have here? Knight of Wands, okay? Fast Fast moving energy, money coming in fast or getting ahead very fast, you know, getting your work done fastly. We're going to talk about all of these things, okay? Um, bottom of deck is the four of cups. So, wow. <laughs> it takes a lot to impress Capricorn when it comes to their money. Hmm. Is that true? You know, you're not just impressed by any little old thing. Hold on, guys. Hold on one second. One second. Let me put my, um, I need to put my charger in. All right, there we go. Hold on. Computer about to die. All right, there we go. We're good. I thought it was on the other side of the room, but it's not. Anyway, it takes a lot to impress you. You're not easily impressed by the small or low bro type of energy low bro positions, low bro careers, low bro money. It takes a lot to impress you, huh? Because you're going to be doing so well, or you could be on your bougie-ish because the world card, which is super bougie, world card is like leveling up, okay? So whichever pay grade that you're used to or whatever lifestyle that you're used to when it comes to your finances, that is yesterday's issues, 
you're on to bigger and better things. So obviously, you know, you're going to be accustomed to a new lifestyle or way of living or just check coming in every two weeks or whenever you get paid or how you get paid. You're accustomed to bigger and better. And that's the world card. There's like a promotion or a raise, a upgrade. You also could be um, transferring like locations. You could be moving like in a department or this could be like real distance. So like moving from one location to another, maybe tra um, working remotely. So you can take trips while you're working, which is always a, a flex. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify that. Oh, Mikkel, I need to read your um, email after this. I'm gonna read it after this. I'm I'm supposed to be doing Virgo and Scorpio, but I think I'm just gonna have to do it tomorrow because I have to braid my hair tonight, guys, which is crazy. And then I have personal readings I have to do tonight as well. So I don't think I have the time. But Mikkel, I'm going to um, read your email and I'm going to send you back exactly what I get via tarot. And then I'll give you my opinion as well, because, you know, that's how we do. All right. Anyway, what's the world? What's the world? Also, I'll say this to my Capricorns. I haven't said this on any other signs video because I'm all over the place. I plan on doing $10 questions possibly tomorrow or sometime this week, but I think I'll be doing it tomorrow. So if you're interested, you have your question ready, then it'll be a live reading and, you know, you can just come join the live and we'll do it then. So whatever. All right. The world card. So let's see what, what's, what is it saying? What is it giving with the world for my cappies? Nine of wands. Okay. Some of you guys just have been dealing with too much stuff. Okay. It's so funny because I'm with my, I'm at my parents' house, my old place, my old room. And when I'm here, it's like, I'm like a little child. Like, you know, like I was, I put on, um, Caillou, you guys know that, um, children's show it's called Caillou. And if you don't know it, look it up, whatever. But I put it on because when I sleep, I want positive energy while I'm sleeping. And I didn't, I, I didn't want to leave it on Netflix because Netflix does that da -dun, when you're like sleeping and wake me up. So I put on Caillou because it was just on the, it was on a channel that was, I was flicking through this new TV. And it's so funny because that song for the theme song that came on a hundred times while I was sleeping, it's like, he was like, um, growing up is not so tough. Something when I had enough, like when he had enough, he about to throw a temper tantrum. He has a fit. And me and my mom are laughing about that because I was like, you know, I, I F with Caillou because he said growing up is not so tough because you realize when you become an adult is hard out here in these streets. And then I F with him hard because he said when he had enough with these with his with his white parents, no, no shade to the racial. When he had enough with his white parents, when Karen is not getting it right, he had enough. He about to throw a temper tantrum. And I feel like that is the nine of wands for y'all. Y'all had enough where y'all been. It's time for some change. So it's almost like when you've been enduring so much toughness where you've been feeling down on yourself, maybe second guessing your path, your journey, that's when you're about to be blessed with a big upgrade in your lifestyle, which means a promotion or raise. Um, also, those of you who had enough within your department, maybe it's time to transfer to something different. OK, and you will be blessed abundantly from doing that. Those of you who had enough within your location, everybody in the location is nuts. It's time to transfer to that new location. You may not know more uh, much about it. It may be much, much more of a drive, but it's going to save your sanity. So learn when you had enough. OK. Learn when you had enough. And I'm going to tell you all another little funny thing. Y'all may not want to know this, but it's funny. When we were looking up Caillou, because my mom told me to look up Caillou for some reason. I don't know why she wanted me to look it up. But we looked it up. And then one of the most asked questions on Google is if Caillou has alopecia. <laughs> if you don't know that show, you got to look up Caillou and then you'll get the joke. Okay. It's like, why do they think a little kid have alopecia? You see, like, he really had enough with y'all. All right. Let's see. What's the... <laughs> 
All right, the world is a three of wands. So is, exactly when you feel like you've had enough, you're about to throw your adult temper tantrum, that's when good-ish is arriving into your life. So, you know, it's all about just staying down, even in the times where you feel lost or you feel like, what the hell is going on, you know? When I feel this way, I think about like old times, especially from my religion when people were living in the desert and they were just following the word of God. And it's like, if I was walking in a desert, I'd be like, after walking like maybe a mile or two, because I'm lazy, I'm like, Lord, is this the right way? I'm feeling skeptical, you know, but they kept going. No water, no food, sand in your mouth and your eyes and in your hair. If they could do it, we can do it, okay? Anyway, oh my God, someone said I had a student with alopecia. He was five. Oh my God, so children do have alopecia? Okay, I'm not even trying to make that a joke, but Caillou was not written to have alopecia, but everybody in his family had hair, so it was kind of confused the viewers. Now, only an adult would ask that question. Children are just loving his little bald self, but anyway, let me not make that a joke. Anyway, the devil, okay? So this is the good things, which means that you can indulge a little bit more. If you've been very like strict with your spending, you have been staying off of Amazon, off of TikTok shop, you know, Instagram or Facebook market. You've been staying off of your favorite sites. When you go to the grocery store, you're budgeting yourself, you're restricting yourself. This is saying that you're going to be so abundant in the month of April. Um, yeah, Little Bill was just the same, different skin color. Exactly. He was. Did he have alopecia? No. Okay. No, he did not. He's just a late bloomer. Anyway, <laughs> I love Little Bill, by the way. Anyway, um, it's, it's saying that you can indulge a little bit more. So you have been very like disciplined, like strength card energy. You've had self-discipline or self-control with your spending or just with your lifestyle. And now you can indulge a little bit. So this can mean in like small ways, like buying what you want in the grocery store, shopping at the upper echelon grocery stores, because we, we all know there's a cash system in grocery stores. If you don't know, then understand. Um, but also there's an energy of like maybe shopping at your favorite places that you kind of took a break from. Now, this also can talk about something much bigger, like lifestyle wise. If you want to move and live in maybe the more expensive zip code, you are deserving of that. Let's clarify the devil and let's see exactly what it's supposed to say. Y'all know I love me some little Bill, but on my YT's energy, I love me some Caillou too. And my mom asked me, she was like, when you have children, will you allow them to watch Caillou? And I said, I feel like it's wholesome. It's not giving Nickelodeon energy. So I feel like, yeah, if, if, if my children are even, you know, entertained by that, then of course they will watch that because he's speaking some real facts. He said, I had it when I had enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Caillou does not have cancer. Y'all got to stop with the lies, okay? Stop it, please. He did not have cancer. He does not have a condition. Google it. He that's not what they meant, made it to be. Now, why was he bald all the whole time and and even his little sister who was younger than him had hair? Um, maybe they're just trying to have reality of like late bloomers. Okay, some of y'all couldn't grow a mustache until what age? Women included. When did your mustache sprout? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, seven of cups. Okay, y'all got me distracted. <sighs> seven of cups shows that you have a lot of options. So you can explore your options, even the more indulgent options. So if you want to move and you've been looking at a lot of different townhomes, houses to rent or apartments, you could start looking at maybe the more expensive options because you will be well accommodated in this new transition. Um, if you have a lot of options about where you like to shop, you can go for the bigger options that you've been avoiding and budgeting. It's all about like, um, there, <laughs> there's like a um, equilibrium that you've been following. So you've been doing less than and you have like followed the universe's lead and trusting them. And now you're able to indulge a little bit more. 
Okay, so it's giving that. It's almost like you kneeled for the universe. You kind of like surrendered to the universe. And now the universe is surrendering to you. Does that make sense, guys? All right. And then we have the Knight of Wands. <laughs> I can't do it with y'all Capricorns. Y'all are too much. Okay, so Knight of Wands says that things are happening fast for you. So this is fast money. So if money is coming in fast, especially in the beginning weeks of April, make sure that you indulge because you'll make it back. But also I would recommend saving just a little bit, like what you need. Like, don't forget about what you need. Okay. Because, um, the Knight of wands is very fleeting. So money may be coming in fast, but also expect it to maybe slow down towards the end of April until the next month in the beginning. So kind of like balance yourself, still have a good time, indulge, splurge somewhere, but still make sure that you're you're protected on your other ends, okay? Also, Knight of Wands could be a fast approval. So fast approval, an apartment, a townhome, a house, a car that you want. Maybe this is like fast approval of you applying to a job. You apply to the job on Friday. Then on Tuesday, the next week, you're already approved or you're ready like they're trying to get you in for training. So something is happening really fast for you. All right, Knight of Wands. All right, Knight of Swords. And this is so crazy as hell. You must have really good luck with your money this month. Knight of Swords is the energy of, of applying or going for something last minute. When you go for something last minute, and this is hard to like really believe because I'm such a like a, I'm practicing my responsibility and this kind of like makes my eye twitch. But I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Applying to something last minute gets you in the door faster. Okay, so apply that to whatever you're thinking about when it comes to your money, whatever you want to upgrade in your life, a car, an apartment, a home, buying a home, a job, networking, trying to do something last minute gets you in, especially for those of you who are networking. Let me tell you a story. There is a guy that I uh, used to date like, you know, previously before I was in my connection that I'm currently in and he um he just made things happen. Wasn't a scammer, a hard worker, but he knew how to like, you know, find those jobs that just work for him. He could have been very blessed in those areas, you know? So that was good for him. He wanted to join a networking group, which was like a brotherhood of other, I'm black. So he was black as well. Black men who are doing big things in the community, which will help him get ahead and, you know, have people he can rely on, connect with, learn from, whatever comes through a networking energy. He couldn't get a ticket to the brotherhood. Okay. All the brothers were showing up, I guess. So he couldn't get a ticket to the brotherhood. So he ended up just popping the heck up. He wore his best suit or outfit not suit, but like his best, you know, these um, corporate men be wearing them tight, excuse me, them tight um, suit pants. So he wore his best tight suit pants, um, his Oxfords, <laughs> whatever he wore. Okay. Um, and he showed up to the event and they asked him, was he on the list? And he said, no, but I really want to get into here and I have my money for the ticket there was no more availability online. So I'm just trying to see, you know, if, if you guys would allow me, I'll pay even extra. Do y'all know that he let, they let him in and he had to pay no ticket fee. They just let him in. They just loved his enthusiasm. So it kind of gives like that energy, like coming somewhere late or even having denied access previously, but sliding in right through the doors, even though you're like the person who People, if they would know your story, they would feel like it's not fair because you didn't prepare or you weren't responsible or you came in so late, but you are getting that easy access no matter what, even though it's kind of late or even a sloppy approach, according to you, not to, and other people, but according to you, you kind, kind of would have worked around it like more responsible, but you're still making some big waves. So don't care what people think, you know, take advantage of your opportunities that are given. All right, because you've had a rough time, Ten of Swords. So it's the Phoenix rising, and that's just what it is. And people don't even have to understand it, you know? All righty, let's pull some cards for your Munyan. Uh-uh, what is this? 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's see for my cappies. Give me some messages about their money. Anything significant that they need to know? Moving towards the more positive energy for April regarding their money, career, finances, savings, anything of that sort. Let's see. Anything of that sort. Let's see. All right, one more card. All right, perfect. All right, so bottom of the deck says denied, try again at a later time. So there's something that you've been denied previously. Don't let that kill your whole vibe or kill your confidence. Now in April is the time for you to apply or go after that opportunity once again. It could be very nerve wracking, you know, because rejection is never nice especially when it comes to your money, you know, like you could probably deal with romantic rejection, family rejection, but when it comes to your money, mm -mm. but this is your time to try again because you will be approved this time around. Okay. Also that card will come out when rejection is your protection. So if you are denied from something that you feel like you really want, could have been a scam energy. Like it's not as good as it's caked up to be. Or it could be an energy where it's like something that's unfavorable can happen in the vibration of picking up that whatever it is, that job, that home, that car. It's just like not written for you. It would change up your whole trajectory and probably take you some steps back. So even when you think something is like exactly what you want, be open to the knowledge of the universe rejecting that option for you. Okay. Sorry, y'all. All right, we have refund coming through. This has been coming through for everyone because it is tax season. So tax refunds could be coming through. This can mean like if you had a bad product, service, or experience, and it just wasn't up to part, then you know the overseer, which is like the manager of the joint, will be making sure that money comes back on your card. Maybe you had to refund, um, sorry, return some items that just weren't up to part. You'll be getting that refund coming through on your card and your bank account. That's going to bring extra money in your pocket. Okay. So also don't procrastinate, especially if you bought a specific item yourself and you're like, okay, um, it wasn't up to part. I want to refund it. Refund it. Don't wait. Do it right now so you can get that money back because whether it comes back in a credit or even in um, money in your hand. Either way, you'll be glad that you got that out the way because it'll be for later use, okay? Now, you do have a new job coming in, so don't be afraid of growth. Don't be afraid of transferring or location difference or moving, okay? There is a new job coming towards you with bigger money, bigger benefits in the month of April, okay? We have Millionaire in the Making. This only came out for one other sign, so this makes me feel really positive about you, whoever's watching you have a good mindset that can really get you to big places when it comes to your financial growth. So good for you. I'm happy about that for you. Really nice, okay? All righty. Money-minded friend. That's always a great thing too because you don't want to be the only person in the, in the group chat who has some financial sense. So if you can connect with that person or network with that person who really has good interest and good wisdom and knowledge to share with you. And you can also teach them as well. It's like having a buddy in this very tough energy of life, right? So I love that. And thank you, Coldest Panda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's see what else. We have better days ahead. So if you've been having a tough time, trust and believe you're in your transformative period. You're in that period of learning a tough lesson and um, like, what's the word? passing with flying colors like there was a tough lesson it could have been dragged along it could have felt like forever in a day but you've learned it and now that's that 
energy in your life is coming to a close, you're going to have much better days ahead. So don't, you know, don't get down on yourself. Do not get pessimistic about your life. You know, sometimes pessimism can be disguised as realism. I've seen a lot of people, you know, in me being a spiritualist and being so optimistic and trying to sprinkle optimism here, sprinkle optimism there. I've seen people who say like they they speak pessimism through realism and it's okay to be realistic. That is like making sure that you're conscious and you're not like, you know, going through a psychosis and you're not, you know, believing in some made up life, okay, or hallucination. But sometimes people who are super realistic and just try to face the facts and where do facts come from? Facts come from society, what you've been taught and in which you can rewrite your beliefs and make things happen. You know, you don't have to be a conformist in society. You can still be a indiv individualistic, have your own individual goals and beliefs and still have a realistic sense. So you're not so much in the clouds, but you don't have to like believe everything that's taught to you and think that there's not another way. Sometimes in the system, they will teach you things so that you believe this, but also follow a different narrative. So know, know who you learning from. Because that is a scam, right? And that's the next card. The scam of life is like, you know, certain authority in this society will teach you to be a certain way, but they'll follow a different system. Come on now. You got to know better than that. All right. But anyway, scam calls and emails coming to you. Okay. this You shouldn't fear that because you'll be okay with saying goodbye. And last but not least, we have vacation in your future. So I love that for you. Some downtime, some fun time, some turn up time, some explorative time, spiritual time. You okay? So vacations can do a lot for the mind. So love that for you. Oops. Okay. Moving forward. Moving, moving forward. Um, we're going to do love now. We're going to do love, y'all. Oops. All right, so these are the good things coming towards you in your love life for my cappies only. What are the good things coming towards you in your love life in the month of April? What are the good things coming towards you in your love life in the month of April? Yes, the Maldives. That is one of my bucket list places. Because it's so, because I'm such a true introvert. I feel like Maldives is like introvert energy, you know, just being off on a beautiful island. But yes, the Maldives, that does give Capricorn energy. All right, for love energy, for your positive love, you know, messages coming in in the month of April, you have the three of wands. So some of you guys have been waiting for something. Okay. So it really just depends. It really just depends. If you are single, you've been waiting for the one, the person that aligns with you has the same values, morals as you acts, right. F's right. Okay. All, all of the above. And that is coming in, in April. Now, if you are in a relationship and you're not planning on leaving your person, you may feel like, okay, I just want more from this connection, more from them. You're going to finally receive that in the month of April. Also, three of wands comes from the two of wands, okay? Two of wands is the energy of desiring something that you don't find where you're currently at. So those of you who are in relationships and you know that your person is not going to get better, they're not even trying to improve or work with you, there may be another coming in, third party energy, that could be everything that you desire, but you'll be caught up in a third party situation. And I'm just keeping it real. Okay. So let's see what else. Yep. We have the page of wands. So finally, because it feels like it's hard for Capricorn to crush on anyone, or you, you just seldomly see that, right? It's almost like, like a animal that you just won't see every day, you know? It's like a giraffe or like um, a zebra. 
It's like, we don't see that every day. We don't see Capricorn catching feelings every day, okay? So very special situation coming in your life. And let's see what else is here. Ooh, two of swords, okay? Third party energy. For those of you who are in relationships, you may feel like, I don't know what to do. You, you know what I'm saying? It's giving, I can't give up this person, but I'm not giving up my relationship. So be careful if you're in a relationship and you're not happy in your relationship. There is a fair energy here. It's positive because you're kind of receiving what you've been asking for from somewhere else, but it will bring negative energy down the line. So be, you know, know how to avoid situations like that or make a decision. Because the two of swords is all about like having to make a decision, having to be decisive on what you want. Now, those of you who are single or just dating, you will find someone that you've been waiting for. They will give you all those special tingly feelings all over and you will have strong feelings for this person. Your problem will be, do I act on it? Do I keep it real? Or do I just play the game and just not, you know, act nonchalant? I would advise you not to act nonchalant because guess what happens with the two of swords? Once you can't make a decision, the universe makes a decision for you. And when a universe has to step in and make the decision for you, it's usually not the one that you would pick. So I would uh, advise you to be proactive in what you want. And that also goes for those of you who are in relationships, marriages, be proactive in what you want, because either way it goes, someone got to go, whether it's your new found person or your old found person. And if you don't decide, it will come out in a very ugly way. So be decisive, y'all. Be, be decisive. Okay. Now we have the ace of pentacles on the bottom deck, which means there's some type of permanence coming from this. Okay. Something positive or good is going to be a permanent situation in your life, which means that it could actually stick. A relationship could actually stick. Okay. All right. Let's clarify the three of wands for the positive coming towards you in your love life. Ooh, Knight of Swords, last minute energy. What's up with all this last minute energy? But it's positive, right? So you could be doing last minute energy and trying to secure your position with your finances or just like maybe getting something of an elevated lifestyle and it's working out. There's also a last minute energy coming in when you're ready to give up hope on love sliding into your life and it's sticking. It's sticking. There's a sneaky energy here. I don't know why. Well, I already said why. I don't really need to, I'm not here to be like your, on your butt, okay? I already said why, but there's a deeply sneaky energy, whether you're going to treat, some of you guys are single and don't even have a man or a woman or even a dog or a cat to call your own, and you're still treating someone like a sneaky link. What is up, Capricorn? Why do y'all do that to people? You don't have a man, a woman, a cat, a dog to call your own. But this person who's coming in that's so innocent and, and everything you wanted, you're still treating them like a private situation, like a sneaky link, like a third party, even if it's only you two in the mix. Why do y'all do that? Why do y'all do that to people? It, it gives mixed signals. Hello. Oh, my God. Now, those of you who are in relationships, I already said what I said, and I ain't going to say it again. Because this is the thing I also learned about this channel. And I learned this very early on. People would tell me that they watch this with a people, with a romantic person. And I said, why would you do that? Now, why would you do that? Because you know I talk reckless. And I guess some of y'all are just on that type of timing. You want your person to know people are knocking at the door. So I don't know what to say. I just feel like a bad friend, like I'm giving up all your tea. All right, anyway, tell me more about this three of wands moment. Why do y'all do that to people though, Capricorn? Even when you really like someone, you treat them like a like a whore. <laughs> Why? Like, we don't get that. Like, we're so confused. What is going on? Anyway, okay, we have the star here as well. So look out, look out for an Aquarius, maybe. Okay. But the star is also like a very optimistic energy, something that you can be very hopeful for what's going to come. You can stay positive because this has a lot of great potential. You also are attracting someone who's very giving or very like selfless, like they'll do anything for people. 
they are very like, you know, giving in nature, philanthropist energy, you know, um, they, they like, you know, this person's harmless. Like they, uh, volunteer on their, on their off days. Okay. Like they'll do whatever. They're very giving type of person. They're very healed. They, they also help you with some type of healing as well. I don't know. Okay. Y'all, a lot of y'all told me the, the reason in the comments. Okay. I'm guilty of that. I don't know. I try not to, but our fam family be all up in our business. Okay. So you're private, even with your family. And then um, it's our shadow self. We self-sabotage a lot. Interesting. It could be the devil side of you that likes to just play a little games here and there. Okay. <laughs> also, the devil side too is like, you know, like tricking people out of contracts. So if you think about the devil, devil is like, I'm going to always get the upper hand. So it could also be you just wanting to, you know, lay someone's soul on the line, and then you still cheat them out of their happiness and success. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Anyway, we have the page of wands. So you will have feelings for someone. It could be also creep up on you out of nowhere. So you could hang out with someone, have a date one night, and then, you know, maybe two nights down the line, you're thinking about this person at work and you're like, what is going on? Okay. Also five of swords is interesting. You're going to catch feelings for someone is going to bring up a competitive side out of you. Now, if this is, I'm tired of talking about y'all in relationships because I don't know what type of time y'all on. I don't know if y'all trying to teach someone a lesson or what, but those of you in relationships, the person that you're dealing with could be a really fun time and really like, you know, fit the bill. But I do feel like there's like a late reaction where it could be just more fun and flirty, but this person will catch feelings and want to compete with your current person. So there's some drama. Oh my God. Why does the seven swords keep coming out? I'm tired of it. Like this is just feels wrong. <laughs> okay. The sun as well. Like, okay. Sun is all about exposure. So you keep trying to keep someone your little secret. They keep wanting to and show you off to their friends and family. They keep wanting to post your picture online. You're going to have some type of, you and this person may even get into a nasty argument about exposure, like going out during the daylight, which is crazy, Capricorn. Oh my God. I'm just annoyed with this. Or like, this could be like, if they want to post you or if they want to like, you know, bring some relevancy of who they're dating. You and this person could have like a little spat, five of swords, where y'all cut each other deep just because someone wants to be exposed. Somebody wants to show themselves off. They want they want them to, they want to be in the place where the sun does shine, okay? Lion King. What's the problem? And I see your biggest problem here is a two of swords. So you could be indecisive. Yes, I want to go public with this person or yes, I do want this person or I also have my own, you know, reasons that I choose to be more private or I choose not to share or I choose not to open up. So the two of swords is like your factor here. Um, this is the good things though. So I almost feel like the universe is going to intervene as they have been in your whole reading this, you know, in this reading for April, it's almost like you don't make a decision. So the universe makes one for you and it's, for your best good. <sighs> yep, Eight of Swords. Okay, self-sabotage Betty or self-sabotage Paul watching. Um, you don't make a decision. The universe does and they put this person with the big lights on them. So it's like you and this person are on the spotlight. You're being exposed. Okay, you may feel some type of way, but it's for your highest good because you were going to break down a connection that was actually positive. Now, Oh, I don't know how to say this. This is just so hard, especially if you're in a relationship or marriage. Um, the universe can make a decision for you. I don't know if that's going to be your person you've been with or the person that's just fun for right now, right? Because it feels like you were going to self-sabotage something good. So it almost feels like you're going to, the universe is going to make you stick with your old person. And that's just my prediction. And the past, the new person is just, you know, 
maybe you're just excited about like this new energy, but you're not seeing deep down the real deal. So it's almost like if, because you can't make a decision before between new and old, new just ups and leaves to try to prove a point, but that's probably the best for you. Messy, 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 messy. Those of you who are cheaters this month, messy, okay? But we're not going to judge, but still messy. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, um, enough of that. Enough of that. Let's go ahead and talk about this person coming towards you that's the most significant in your love life um, in the month of April. Tell me some significant things about this person. I'm over here look like looking like Harriet Tubman and y'all got me really y'all got me really on the edge of my seat. Okay? I'm just like what is going on Capricorn? I was not expecting this from y'all, for real, for real. Really not expecting this, okay? This is too much. All right, let's just get one more and then we're going to get into it. All right, bottom of the deck says a cancer, so look out for a cancer. Look out for a little cancer, cancer, okay? Um, what else do we have here? We have rough upbringing, so your person could have a rougher upbringing than you did, okay? So that could be something that's talked about in the month of April, or you just already knew that about this person, Someone's going to be a great communicator. So keeping up with text messages, with phone calls, um, just seeing you regularly, being consistent with their conversation, with their communication, that's something that you won't have to worry about in the month of April. Okay. All right. We have a sensitive soul here. So someone who loves hard and gives even harder, someone who's open to listening to your feelings so you don't have to be so uptight or, you know, have such a guard up because this person really understands people and humans from a deeper level. So this is just a sensitive soul, someone who's in tune with their emotions. And they're also open for other people to express their emotions without feeling no type of way. All right. Even though this person had a rough upbringing, um, <laughs> Even though this person has a rough upbringing, they are family oriented. So that's always a beautiful thing. All right. Look out for a Leo as well. Could be a Leo coming into your life or you're dealing with one. So look out for a Leo. Look out for a Leo. What I did get for a Leo energy, especially if you're already dealing with a Leo, like this is your main thing. Um, Leos are really big or not like opening up or being vulnerable right now. So they could be playing the waiting game, like just letting you shout and express your emotions or, you know, even you show emotions, but not reciprocating. And it's almost like a, it's like a self preservation thing because they may need healing. So it's like a knight of pentacles energy or journey with this Leo, like, slow to make improvement or slow to acknowledge the things that you may want or need from them. So in the meantime, you may be wanting to see what else is popping off because obviously this Leo is not taking um, consideration or moving fast enough, but you also have to know that Leo energy, there's a reason that they're moving slow. So they may feel in a way that they're not whole themselves, okay? If you are dealing with a Leo, like married or dating a Leo, then that's what I wanted to let you know. We do have instant attraction with someone coming towards you in the month of April. And we also have a drama-free energy. So that's always good. <sighs> that's always good. All right. All right, guys, let's get the last words and the Oracle just talking about your energy overall. This was such a crazy reading for Capricorn. I can't even believe it. All right, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe y'all, okay? All right, let's see. Overall energy for all the positive things that are coming towards you in the month of April. What's your overall energy? What's to keep, you know, in consideration? Ooh, okay, we have healthy choices. 
the snake, and passion, okay, which is funny. All right, and then we have Axe, okay? Axe always gives me X for some reason, okay? And it talks about breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. So you may temporarily move away from something or someone. Um, also, if it comes to your job, I feel like you're ready to move on to bigger and better things, and there's no going back to that. But when it comes to your love life or maybe friendships or even family, it's like, I just need you to stay 10 feet for now, and then I'll see how I feel maybe in May, okay? So just because you and someone decide to separate right now doesn't mean that y'all may not come back together. Just saying for those of y'all in relationships, marriages. Anyway, we have healthy choices. So making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. Beautiful. Love, love, love that. Okay. And then we have the snake. All right. So it says there's competition around you, competition over you. Okay. Enemies people who think they're smarter than you with that clever energy, okay? People who have malicious intent, look over your shoulder and there could be that other woman or other man that you could be entertaining. I don't know, okay? <laughs> I'm dying, I'm sorry. I, I can't, okay? And then we have passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having a little bit of fun. Heavy on the little bit. No, I'm just kidding, y'all. Have your time. You deserve fun and happiness and whatever. All right, guys. Should we do last words? Do you guys want the last words after this crazy reading? Y'all might need the last words after this reading so I can give it to you straight because I can't believe y'all. <laughs> I cannot believe y'all, Cappy. Dutty, dutty mind. The pressure is getting wassa. Okay? That's what it's giving for you. Let's just pull them. Okay, any more? Any more? All right. Let's see. We have no November, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius. So look out for maybe a Scorpio or a Sagittarius that could be significant to your reading. Um, we have blame game. So just not being able to get on the same page with someone that you maybe have been fighting with or not seeing, you know, being been at odds with, not being able to see each other from the same page, you know, you did this wrong, but you did this wrong, you know, so it's like back and forth, okay? Um, cold hearted. Aries had this as well, so you can have Aries in your chart maybe, but definitely you could be seen as cold hearted in the month of April. Wouldn't be your first time <laughs> being called cold hearted, so whatever, right? All right, we have, I like you, but not in love, okay? So there's that. Maybe having a little fun, but it's not love, boo. So back to my normal programming. All right, let's see what else. We have jealous of you, people who are jealous of you. That's the second thing coming out. People are only gonna be jealous of you when you're doing something that's popping to them or they consider higher than themselves. So take it as a compliment. Don't ever get discouraged by this. Don't ever feel intimidated by this because you're intimidating someone else. So there goes that. All right, you have this energy where you are like an alien that just came down from the universe and people are going to feel like they never met anyone like you. Like you're one of a kind, you're so different. People don't come across people like you every day. So you will be treated like a special kind in April. We have friends first. So there could be a friend or love situation where you guys kind of start off very small and then it builds much deeper than what you would imagine down the line. But you guys start off as friends first, okay? We have fall again. So didn't we just have November Scorpio or Sagittarius? So like a, a fall baby or something about fall season could be very significant that may be brought up again 
in April, which is crazy, but we're not judging. We have you left something behind. So unfinished business with something from your past. Okay. Um, we also have Sagittarius energy coming out again and again. Um, not interested. Why do y'all act like that? Okay. I don't know. Anyway, movie night, Netflix and chill with someone or somebody. Okay. And then we have fake page here. So could be someone watching you from a fake page. So look out for the fake pages, I'm trying to check up on your energy, but not trying to show up directly. Cowards, right? And then we have trust issues. So you may have a hard time trusting people. Could be why you're afraid of moving towards something. Even if you're feeling the vibe, it's like, I'm still going to take it slow. I'm still going to treat you like a friend. I'm still going to tell you to come in through the back door. Okay. So trust issues. And then last but not least, we have hoe energy. Now, this card has been coming out quite a bit. So I do feel like my women, feminine energies only, y'all are just really just not taking these masculine seriously. Okay. But it's almost like a will of fortune energy. Like this is how men were doing for the longest. Now it's woman's time to have an uprising. Okay. So this has been coming out for a lot of signs. So I feel like women are just about to be on a hoe-ish. And I'm not here to disrespect anyone by calling them a hoe, but if you think about it, just think about like city girl ish, you know what I'm saying? Like not taking things seriously and just dating many options and just putting yourself out there and not just being so what people would expect of you. It could be a different change here, just keeping it just open. So if you're masculine and you're dating, you may find that you're coming across a lot of ho energy from women just know that that's the wave right now. Also, you can have a lot of fun with hoes. So <laughs> you can have some more fun with some hoes, okay? But even if you're a masculine, don't be committing to no hoe. Let them come in, come to Jesus. Let them have their come to Jesus moment. And then we can talk about commitment. Anyway, all right. That's all I have, guys, for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please like the video. Comment down below. When you come back to this reading, you let me know what comes into fruition for you. Make sure to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next readings coming out very soon. I'm going to be doing a donation question reading soon, as I said in this reading. I haven't told anyone yet. I don't even know what days. I have a lot of stuff going on, but I'm going to try to do it. Maybe tomorrow night would be a good time to do it. Um, we'll see. What else was I going to say about Cappy? Just stay tuned. Make sure you guys are, um, locked in and subscribed because I'll be doing some live all sign readings this weekend. Would love to have your input. And yeah, just thank you for the time guys. Thank you. Thank you for the time. If you are a um, Virgo or Scorpio, those readings will be done tomorrow. Um, I just have some stuff I need to take care of tonight. So I'm sorry I wasn't able to deliver that, but I will make sure to get that done tomorrow for you guys. So just wait on it. It'll be good energy. All right. With that being said, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys so much. Mikkel, I will email you back tonight. Okay. So just kind of like, you know, I'm probably going to do it right now. I'm probably going to read your email right now. Anyway, love you guys, Cappy. Have a good rest of your week until I see you next time. Um, and yeah, be well, be happy.